You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. Keeping people out of jail. Like this client here. A young man writes, Hi Cappy, just want to say I really enjoy your videos and hope Asshole Consulting becomes a professional field. Here's my problem. So I met this hot, stunning, and beautiful blonde babe back in high school. We did the usual non-verbal flirting signs like constant eye contact for two years. Stop! Right there. You have failed. You don't ask a girl out in two years. You just do flirting and eye contact uh, for two years? Your opportunity is gone. I'd say after a month, your opportunity was gone. Um, you have no balls. You are a coward. You are a weak man. And you could change that tomorrow by by deciding, nope, the next time I see a girl that's cute, I'm going to ask her out. Don't, don't matter how clumsy it is. Don't matter. Now take your time. Come up with something smooth. Um, but this pussy bullshit of, well, I'm going to look at her and maybe someday. No, you are a coward. And, you're, and, and whatever chance you had to get with this girl was gone a long time ago. Long time. You do not flirt for two years and not ask a girl out. I don't know if your dad didn't teach you this or what, it doesn't matter, we're here now and I'm telling you how it works in the real world. You have this window of opportunity. <clears throat> yeah, not, and please don't get fucking anal Asian on me. Don't let how much time, we're not engineers. It's more than five seconds and it's definitely less than two years. But usually it's within the first meeting or if you're in high school, maybe it's a week or so. It depends. You build up a rapport. Maybe at most a month. But if you like a girl, you have at most a month to ask her out. Okay? Because if you don't, in her mind, she'll program you. She'll compartmentalize you. Boom, that's where you are. And that is where you will stay. And uh, it's, it's not exactly being friend zone, but it's right next door. And it's very easy for you then be friend zone for the rest of your days. doesn't even sound like you talk to this gal. Right? You just had eye contact for two years and you didn't pull the trigger. She's out banging and sucking on some other guy's dick right now. All right? We graduated the same year in high school not long ago. I've been stupidly in love with her for almost three years. So you are obsessing over this girl. Okay? I constantly think about her every day. She's deeply embedded in my daily thoughts. But my main current concern is my habit of obsessing over her and constantly stalking her on social media pages. I've been stalking her for four years. For years on all of her social media accounts and used to download her pictures and found a YouTube video she's in. I also got info on her friends and her family, her own personal hobbies. One time I found her address on Google Maps. So my question is, how do I stop this habit of stalking her and get her out of my daily thought? Well, you stop. That's how you stop. How do I stop drinking? You stop. How do I stop doing drugs? You stop. And so how do you stop stalking her? You stop. That's what you physically have to do. You knock it off. All right? But the underlying, how do you get her out of your thoughts, da, 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 it is not her. It is you. There's everything wrong with you. But this is dangerous shit. All right, now it's innocent. Oh, you're looking around here. Okay, everybody internet stalks. But what's next? You're going to go to her house? What, do you have pictures of her? Do you have a mural or something of it? All right, and then you cross the line, and now you are a stalker. Now you are harassing her, and now you do have problems. But for your own mental health, not just with this girl, but for your future, for your life, uh, you have a problem, and that is you have no value. You have no life. Right? And the reason I could tell that is because you have one itis. You think this girl is going to be, you can't think of anything else, this girl, this girl. That's not you. What, is, what does it say about you that the number one thing in your life is somebody else you haven't even talked to? It says you got nothing going on in your own life. And no girl, especially this one, she's cute by the way, she, no girl is going to give you the time of day when all you have to define yourself by is, I really, really like this girl. How sad and pathetic is that? What do you do? Do you have hobbies? Are you on way to become an engineer? Right? Are you out going out with other girls? Now, I understand when you're younger, like, oh, wow, I really like this girl. You got a big crush. Or sometimes you might even fall in love. But this is, this is different. I mean, this is that. But, and, and, and I can understand, like, man, it'd be great. Oh, I would just want to be with her. And yeah, there's a little bit of cuteness and innocence with that. But it's like you have nothing else to do but obsess about this girl. It's like a mirror reflecting upon you that you gotta go do something. You gotta get some hobbies. You gotta go do something. Build a life. And then instead of obsessing about her, you'll have something like, oh, well, I should go hit the gym. Or, oh, I gotta go get my degree. Or I got work to do. Right? 
That's how men get women. It's not by focusing on women. It's the complete opposite. It's by focusing on yourself, achieving something, going out and doing weird and different and great, crazy and great things. That'd be great, but just, you know, different things. You become a person. You're just as, yeah, I like her, we flirted. Yeah, well, are you ripped? You're not courageous. You didn't ask her out. You didn't even bother her. And if you did that, you wouldn't have been suffering for the past three years. She would have shot your ass down. You would have said, oh, damn, there went that one. And you would have moved on in life. Now, think about all the time and calories of an energy that could have been repurposed and rededicated and reinvested in something else that would have been productive had you not pissed away all your past three years pining for this girl you're never going to get. And that's another thing. In addition to like, you got to build up your own life, you're not going to get her. You're not. So stop it. Stop obsessing about her. Go forth. Kick ass. Do great things. Become a career dude. Go climb mountains. Go do something. Learn to crochet. B b build boats. Uh, fish. Uh, play the guitar. Go do some fucking thing with your life so that a girl like this in the future might actually like you. All right? You don't own her. Get out of this, this Neanderthal mind you got where you, and every, every guy's got like, I'm going to clobber her over the head and I'm going to have sex with her and she will, she will be my property and then she will have my kids. She's not your property. You don't own her. No matter what that hind brain tells you, you do not own her. She is not yours. She is some other guy's this week and she'll be another guy's gal next week. But here in the United States, women are not property. And, 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 and it's not only for their good, you know, it's like, because women shouldn't be treated like property, but it's also for men's good. Where it's like, no, that you don't, that's not your girl. I mean, yeah, you're dating her, but she's, you know, if a girl some bangs another guy, you got to have a good enough life to say, banging another guy? Oh, well, I got cool shit going on anyway. I got my own life. You have to become number one in your own life and not be defined by another person. I'm going to blaze this trail you want to come with, you're more than welcome. But I, this is my number one thing. I'm going that way. You may tag along if you'd like. But you're going to help me go this way. And you could tag along a little bit. And you could deviate. You know, fun old times. I'm going this way. That's what real men do. That's how you live your life. That's how you don't waste your life. So stop wasting your life pining over a girl you're not going to get. You didn't have the balls to ask out. And I'm not a big believer in pickup artistry. But there's some good basics there you could learn. Go, go read Return of Kings or search, you know, pick up, uh, basically, you know what? Read book, Rusha's book, Bang. Just read that. It's methodical. It's, it's clinical. It's as scientific as it can be. Um, but you just got to start asking out girls. And you cannot wait two years to not ask a girl. It just isn't going to work that way. Um, so that, that's how you get out of your daily thoughts is you get on with your own damn life and have something else to think about. And here's another thing. I hate to tell you this. Um, well, I don't hate to tell you this because it's true. I, I'll tell you. I had a huge crush. Huge crush. So much of a big crush, I was scared to talk to this girl uh, back in the seventh grade. And I, I, I such a crush, I would avoid her. You know, like, oh, God, I can't talk to her. So the ninth grade comes along. Still got a crush, but and I never did anything. Uh, and we got a sign seat and she got sat right next to me. And I went up to this ninth grade teacher. I'm like, oh my God, I can't, I can't, he can't have me sit next. Oh my God, I'll, I'll sit up front, please, dude. I'll, I'll, whatever. I'll get A's in English. I'll try. Oh God, please don't make me sit. And she kind of knew what was going on. She's like, well, why don't you give it a week and see what I'm like? No, no, I can't last a week. Oh, no, I'm going to die. And, um, <laughs> I sat and I guy I still remember to this day he's like so nervous like and I'm like okay don't shake don't, don't you pull, open up your hands get sweaty palms otherwise and then over that week I realized one I wasn't gonna die but then two she was kind of normal and then over the course of that semester I realized she was not only normal she was dumber than a box of rocks and now today she is a mess she is a mess. All you saw was very statistically likely her best asset. And if you got to talk to her, you'd probably realize she's flighty. I mean, you gotta look past your hormones. She's probably not that bright. She's flighty. She's getting all this attention from all these guys. She wouldn't be a stable girl. She wouldn't be around. She'd string you along, even if you got a date. She'd have sex with you, but then leave, you know, and, and, which would only torture you more. But 
you may have dodged a bullet with this one. You you may it's the unknown, and in other words, your perception of her is probably way better than the reality of her, and that's typically the case with really good looking girls. Is they are so good looking that they're spoiled rotten and they're 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 not held to the normal standards that regular gals and guys are. Uh, pretty girls just get a pass, and unfortunately, it makes for very inferior, unintellectual, boring, entitled, painful, disrespectful. They're always late, always late. Um, just just inferior people you want nothing to do with. It's really sad, but you know, especially when you're young. I've had girls where I'm like, "Well, wow, you are so dumb." I don't want to have sex with you. I like I have lost all sexual attraction. I didn't think it was possible, but I have lost all sexual attraction. I cannot get it up. My soldier cannot salute. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. I'm not saying like, oh yeah, here this will make you feel better. I'm saying because it's very. I'm saying like 80, 85 percent statistically likely true. That girl is probably. Let me take another look again. Oh yeah, yeah no. There, there's no way she's intelligent or brilliant or smart or cool or truly independent minded or independent period now there's no way there's no way uh you you very i'm going to upgrade that to about 92 93 percent you dodged a bullet with this one but the bigger point bigger problem is you got to focus on you you got to get shit going on in your life so that when you see another beautiful girl you're not like oh my god because you have nothing else in life you guys say oh that'd be a cool addition to my life I think. Let's talk. Oh, no blowjobs? And you're a Christian? <laughs> See you, bye. <laughs> so, Alright, you guys need help. You know where to contact your older brother, Cappy. Go to assholeconsulting.com. Tell family, friends, loved ones who need a swift kick in the ass. Uh, read my books. You can find them on Amazon.com. And listen to the Clary Podcast, which you can find on SoundCloud.com or just doing the Google search or the Bing search. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.